Okay guys, I'm here at the Lincolnton, North Carolina Goodwill. It is pouring rain. The temperature has dropped down to like 39 degrees. By the time y'all see this, um, it'll probably be warm and sunshiny out. Anyway, we're going to go in here and check out this Goodwill. I haven't been here in like, oh gosh, I bet two or three years. So it's going to be interesting. Oh my God, y'all, look at this handmade solid wood coffee table. It's gorgeous. They're asking $249.99. Check out how nice this Goodwill is. It is the nicest one I've been in in a really long time. This is the kids section. I forgot how nice this Goodwill is because I know I haven't been in here probably since pre-COVID. Pay close attention to the clothing sections. They color code the clothing rather than putting it in order by sizes. I really like this. It makes everything look nice and uniform. And if you're looking for a red shirt, you walk straight to the red shirts. If you have little children, the cheapest way to buy shoes is to buy them used because kids grow out of their shoes so fast. Shoes are too expensive to buy brand new. Most of these kids' shoes look like they might have never even been worn. You know how you can tell? Look at the soles of the shoes. This is a beautiful little pink coat for a little girl and right next to it is a dance costume. Check out these prices, $2.79 for kids sleepwear, two toddler and up. This store is so clean and fresh looking. Here's some inline skates that look like they've hardly been used. There's a small camping tent. I guess this is just like a child's toy, the disco ball. It's a soft, spongy ball. Here's some wire baskets. Here's a couple of puzzles. I don't know if the pieces are all there or not because it doesn't say. They have these cute little metal tins. Here's some brand new plushies with the tag still on them. Before you complain, I know these prices seem a little bit high, but I was told that Goodwill buys some of the um, closeout items from some of the local retail stores, and these are brand new bedding sets. You guys aren't going to believe this. The larger pieces of artwork were only $9.99. That's right, $9.99. So far, their prices are more reasonable than the other Goodwill stores. Let's check the prices on some home decor. I would have expected something like this to be two or three dollars, but someone's probably willing to pay that. I'm confused. At first I thought this was a bird feeder or something, but I don't see a place for birds to feed from. They have some different floral arrangements up there that you can choose from. Okay, now as I show you some of these items, please remember that some of these things are brand new, so the prices reflect that the things are brand new and not used. They want $8.99 for this yellow vintage pitcher and bowl set. That's probably a pretty good price. This is cute. They only want $2.99 for it, so I guess that's a pretty good price. Oh, the little girl has some damage to her forehead right there. That's too bad. This is interesting. I guess you put a candle in the bottom, and then you can put something in the top there like incense. They only want $2.99 for that. I guess that's okay. The unicorn is only $1.99. Now, see, that's a sensible price to me. This wall clock is only $2.99. I don't know if it works or not, but it's cute. Let's check out these angel figurines. $1.99, that makes sense. $1.99, see that makes sense to me too. One of our other Goodwills is trying to sell stuff like that for three and four dollars a piece. This is cute, it's missing its cover plate, but it might still work if you put batteries in there. Brand new holiday tablecloth, still in its original packaging. They only want $1.99 for it, and there's one with snowmen too.
If you need disposable briefs for a loved one, make sure you check your thrift stores. You can find a really good deal on these products. This is a really different piece of decor. It's really heavy. They only want $1.99 for it. They want $2.99 for this little snowman jar. Reusable decorating ties to secure your decorations for $1.49 for a box of 20. I've never seen those before. Well, these are definitely not Christmas decorations. Here's a pack of Christmas tins, brand new, still in the packaging. They're asking $2.99 for a pack of two. They're asking $4.99 for these Christmas cards, but they are photo Christmas cards. They're asking $2.99 for the stocking holder. The other Goodwills I go to will ask $5 and $6 for these things. Someone broke off the snowman's nose. And something broke off of this snowman, too. I'm not sure what it was. The stocking holder is broken. Please don't bash the employees saying they're putting out broken stuff because a lot of times customers will knock this stuff over and break it and then put it back up there like nothing happened. We know that's not always the case, but sometimes it is. If you're one of those people that have always believed that you can only buy used things from a thrift shop, then I want to show you that that's not necessarily true. A lot of the items in this store are brand new and still in the original packaging. They're just at discounted prices. There's a box of baby diapers, some training pants, and below there is a gift set for newborns. You never know what you're going to find in a thrift store, but you can usually find some really good deals if you look hard enough. These canvas artwork prints like this usually sell for $10 to $20 at most retail stores. Here at Goodwill, it's $1.99. I'm loving this Goodwill store's prices. They are so much more reasonable than our other Goodwill stores. They have some of the Starbucks Christmas Blend Coffee for $3.99. I like to check out the coffee mugs because I do enjoy an eclectic collection of coffee mugs. These look and feel like vintage cut glass. I wonder if someone donated a collection or if maybe these were donated or bought from one of the local breweries. This is really pretty, but I don't need it, so I'm going to put it back for one of you. This is cute and different. It looks like it could be vintage, but there's no special markings or anything that I see. I like this pattern, too. It's really pretty, but once again, no special markings or anything. I'm just going to walk through here and show you the linen owl. Once again, everything is color-coded. Our Salvation Army stores use the color coding system too, and I gotta say, I really like it. And the prices are all displayed right where they need to be. Some of our Goodwills have been pricing things higher than this current pricing system shown here. Let's take a look at the purses. This Jacqueline Smith purse is in really good condition. The 
this chapped purse is brand new and still has the original tags on it. Let's see if these spots will come off. As I scrape it with my fingernail, they pop right off. Just take a damp cloth to this and it'll be fine. Doesn't everything look so much better when it's color coded this way? Look at how fresh and clean and organized this door looks. I can't get over it. Look at how great this t-shirt section looks. All men's jeans are $6.99 a pair regardless of what brand they are. Men's pants $4.99 regardless of what brand they are. I'm circling back towards the home decor because one of the employees has been putting out more merchandise. This is interesting. I don't need it, but it's interesting. These are taped together. They're sold together as a set. One's that blue color and then one's clear. Then we have these old jars. $1.99 for the small one and $2.99 for the larger one. Prices here than any of them. This is a candle. Mm, I don't think those two things go together. Crystal glass for a dollar ninety nine. This is cute for two ninety nine. sand these, wash them up good, and then apply some um, butcher block oil. This is a wall shelf for $4.99. That's cute. Oh, it's a reclining couch. They want $24.99 for it. It's cleaned up a little bit. It has a couple of stains on it, but you could probably get those out. Their prices on lamps are way better here than at most of the other Goodwills now, too. A few of the other Goodwills are trying to sell lamps for $15, $20, and $25, and most people don't want to pay that for a used lamp. Someone obviously painted this. They just put out this brand new picture, and it too is only $9.99.
They have a lot of ladies active wear to choose from. Let me show you the prices. They have set prices on everything. The other Goodwills have been trying to sell some of the ladies active wear jackets for like 10 and $12. Here, they're all one price, no matter what brand they are or what kind of shape they are, brand new, whatever. They are the same price. I don't know why some of these other Goodwill stores are getting away with the different pricing. This bright yellow pot just caught my eye. Let's check it out. Uh, it's looking a little rough. This is a large bamboo salad bowl. Over here we have a brand new pocket pie mold. These divided ceramic trays are always nice for family gatherings and cookouts. These little Pilgrim salt and pepper shakers are cute. She has a little blemish on her nose, but you could touch that up with some acrylic paint easy enough. They're asking $1.99 for the set. Here's oil and vinegar cruets in a stand for $4.99. Oh, that's a version of a cowbell. These simple glass jars are always nice for storage. Here's a nice set of ceramic canisters. Let's check out the shoe section. Look at all these shoes. They have a really nice lineup of shoes back here. Check these out. They still have the hanger on them from the original store. This is why I like thrifting. You can always find things that are brand new or like new. Check out these duck rain boots. They have the zipper on the back and they're fully lined. If these would have been in my size, they would have came home with me. These things sell for $35 to $90 in stores and online. These Calvin Klein canvas shoes look like they were barely worn. These sell for $15 to $35 used. These light year shoes were originally sold at Walmart. They are brand new. They were never worn. Oh, I got to show you these Jessica Simpson glitter pumps. They sell for over $60 on the Jessica Simpson online store. These look brand new, y'all. Right down from the shoes, you'll find the glassware section. Here's some brand new bamboo sheets still in the packaging. They only want $9.99 for these. That is a steal. I'm telling you, this store is reminiscent of what prices used to be in other Goodwill stores. I love these prices. I would pay these prices. They're getting crazy at some of the other Goodwill stores with their pricing. And pay attention to how clean and neat everything is in this store. These employees in here must take a lot of pride in their work. Some of these pieces are from the African Legacy Collection. They seem to be in really good shape. And once again, the prices in here seem way more reasonable than the way they price things at some of the other Goodwill stores. This store could very well end up being one of my most favorite Goodwill stores ever. Here's another example as to how you can find brand new items at your thrift stores for a discounted price. These would be cute for anybody who likes the farmhouse style decor. Here's a piece from the Willow Tree Collection. These are nice if you're into collectibles. This is a crystal globe to go over a candle. There's some really nice pieces in really good shape for a good price. Here's some shoes and other items in a display case. OK, 
Okay, guys, it's starting to get a little bit late, so I'm going to go pay for my purchases, and then I'll show you what I bought as soon as I get back to my house. Hey guys, I didn't buy much. I bought this um, shirt. It's an extra large Universal Threads. Did not buy it due to the brand. I bought it just because it is so soft and comfortable. I bought these day wear pants to wear with it. Um, I bought both of these for less than $6. Guys, the other thing I bought was this... Crofton Barrow Oxford Style Men's Dress Shirt. You can see it there. It's super nice. It's a beautiful color, deep green. It's hard to tell in the lighting in here, I know. Um, I think I paid $5.99 for this. Anyway, it was a great deal for this because brand new or used, these shirts sell for $15 to $35 a piece if you try to buy them online or in a store anyway. So that's my little mini haul for today, guys. I hope to see you again for tomorrow's video. Love you. Bye.